We're finna jump straight to this video about O'Shea's Kingandian channel. Talking about the passport bros. I don't need y'all to go ahead and like and subscribe on O'Shea Do Jackson's and mine's. Please support this brother. He is trying real hard to help the black community. And, and I like it. O'Shea, you need to fucking help me out too. I got this ringy dingy computer set. But let's go. Passport bros. Mm -hmm. O'Shea, could you explain to our audience what is a passport bro? Shout out to a few brothers I want to talk like, uh, like Charles Tyler, uh, brothers like Al Grease. Mm -hmm. Then, you know, you have uh, some of the newer guys, Taylor Made Dreams. These are pretty much African Americans that decided that dealing with American black women was a lot of a hassle. Some of the brothers in the past for a broke community, even from the UK and in uh, and, and some parts of the Western world. I, I met a brother in Kenya. I won't mention his name, but shout out to you, brother. And he's living, he's a Somalian, that's a, but living in Australia. He considers himself a part of the past for bros going back to Kenya. So basically you have most of these guys that are living in uh, usually uh, Colombia, Brazil, uh, some of the Philippines, Thailand, and these guys are looking for uh, more femininity and a higher quality of life. Mm -hmm. And they're telling other American men to stop dealing with the, you know, feminist BS of black women in America or American women in general. You're wasting your time. You can get somebody better looking and more submissive outside of the States, especially if you're an average guy that don't get a whole lot of looks in America. Come over here to even to Africa and do your thing. You know what I mean? So, yeah. That's the content. That was funny. Uh, let's keep it going. The definition of okay. it. Okay. Maintain, what would, what is your interpretation of a passport, bro? I think I want to be a bit cut and dry about it. Mm -hmm. um, it's like O'Shea said, it's guys that are where they're from, wherever they are from. Right. They are having issues finding compatibility. Right. And so they're just searching for it everywhere but where they're from. Right. You know? And I, I think it's all of them. I guess I could only speak for myself right now. I searched, I searched and I can't find it at all. It's just my personal opinion. I, I just think it's like opportunistic and it doesn't sit well with me if I'm mm. being honest. Why? I, Cause mm. it's like clearly, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. You're of a, you're of a status and a stature, which is not getting you the woman you want. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. So you're, you're kind of, instead of like becoming a better person, a better human mm -hmm. you're just kind of like okay i'm gonna sack that off and i'm gonna go around the world where it is why are you not Money. investing in tax liens no seriously why are you not investing into the white one man of the got most his foot on my neck. real estate strategies apparently mm -hmm. uh easier to find like you said to find a woman that's more submissive mm -hmm. and, more, and things like that and, mm -hmm. I, and then but then to say to other people, mm -hmm. do what I'm doing, forget about where you're from and the women that are there. Mm -hmm. I think that's wrong. You're, 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 you're pushing a narrative and spreading a narrative that is just not true. It's just you that wants to do this. Okay. Not everybody should be doing it. Okay. That's, that is true to a certain extent because yes, not everybody wants to do this, but the thing is what passport bros is pretty much like like what I've been learning from the black mental sphere, like you you are believing this thing is what it is. Cause this is how you've been, you have been conditioned. You believe that this is all right. It's like, no, this is not how things are supposed to be. It's like, um, for example, it's like a kid that's raised in a blank, like a blank room, like nothing in a room. This is all he knows. He's going to be all right with this because this is all he knows. He think this is what it is. So that's how that is. What guys are doing like the red pill, black male sphere, or you could call it Negro manosphere. What they did was open your eyes and say, this is not how everything's supposed to be. So passport bros is technically a little bit of a side off, like a, like a side group of the Negro manosphere is like, all right, Neil Romans, you're saying these women keep doing these things. They need to fix it and been doing it for ooh, so many years. Negro Romans have been doing this. They need to fix this. But the only problem was sooner or later, it came a time that now passport bros were made and they're saying, I'm not going to try to fix this no more. It's too long. I got only one life. I'd rather just leave. 
That's what that is. So he was right to a certain extent, but the thing is, no, this has been going on for a decade and some change. So I got a like on TikTok, but let's keep this going. Okay, what about what about you? What <laughs> I actually have an issue with the passport bros. Okay. Because to some people, the passport bros can be Why? Why you got such a pretty face? Oh. I wish you had your afro out or like the curls. But your face is pretty. Seen as individuals practicing sex tourism. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry for dropping yeah. that out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we just talk about the, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There are people without passports who go who hope. Hop mm. from country to country, just sleeping around with the women. With the women, mm -hmm. yeah, so mm -hmm. I don't. Maybe that's not being a passport, bro. Maybe that's something else. It, it happens. Yeah. yeah. So it it's happens. like that. Happens to a small, like it's like a small number. Small number of people do that. Um, uh, but I don't think it's. It was. It's mainly like those extremely rich. I don't want to say it, but the rich European guys that be doing that. Like that's them. What's the point? Mm -hmm. You're not coming to Africa to develop it. You're not coming to Africa to add anything. You're not coming with any resources. You're just bringing your, I won't say the word. Yeah, you're just. To the continent. Slow. Slang and your slang and your thang. To, 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 to be fair, those brothers don't really come to Uganda or Ghana. I don't really see too many passport bros in Africa. The only one. I am. That's me. Me. Uganda, Ghana. Kenya, and I don't know about Nigeria. Those are my main places. I did see who considers himself for that was already a Somalian Kenyan. Mm -hmm. So he's just kind of repatriating. Yeah. But I'm pretty sure there are some guys who will be coming there. And I mean, I, I get what you're saying because tourism can, can occur. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, you especially in these countries that are like, you know, Brazil, yeah. DR, it's legal. What? You could just... <laughs> Not that I know, but somebody looked like me <laughs> was in Brazil. I might, I might get out there and get in the beast too. You know what I'm saying? And uh, you know, I saw what was, what, what it was just right there in front of you. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Women, when they do, let's talk about what's this, what's this book? It's not, is it not, is it not waiting to exhale? It's another book. Uh, it was this book about the movie that Angela Bass was in, where she went to Jamaica and married this guy. Oh, Stella Coming got a groove back. back. Stella got a roof oh. back. Yeah, there you yeah, go. Yeah. I know she didn't know she's too young. No, but no. That, but I think that's different, though. How's it different? Because she went, she went through a, like a terrible relationship, mm -hmm. and just wanted to reset mm. and just have a nice holiday, and then she found um, love. So, she found love. But and again, that guy ended up being gay. What? That's true. The guy did end up being gay. But I want to go back to this point that it's not really different because passport bros or guys who like. Let's just say they're not passport bros. The guys who travel and they go date overseas. Most of them have legit attempted to date women here. And it's went terribly wrong. Like it almost always happens. Or you can go, go by the guys who legit went to them. They went to the military. They got their check and stuff. And then they started getting paid. And then they realized that all this stuff was wrong, how everything was going. But they was overseas before. And they realized like, it was way better over there. So I might as well. No, I'll just take my money and I'm going to go over there. So it's not really that different. The only difference is we didn't mistakenly walk into liking people. It was like, we was like, no, I like how y'all look and I like how y'all treat me. So I'm going to just come back. That's really, our zone is more planned than somebody who did that, did what, what Stella did. In the, movie. In the movie. In the real life, oh. extremely. <laughs> hey, <laughs> turning on her, <laughs> taking all her money and getting a boyfriend and moving to New York City. So what I'm saying is, yeah. what I'm saying is this, a lot of guys, I don't want to throw all the black men from African-American communities yeah. Yeah. into, because I met a brother actually in Kenya at yeah. our cafe yeah. that married a Kenyan woman. Yeah. It happens a lot. Look at Brandon. Yeah. yeah. You know? So you have, you have black men that are looking to marry people. We've even had it happen on our, on our show. Yeah. Right? Yeah. But I think the thing is like, we're not talking about the root problem of why these guys are not dealing with these women. And that's the, what's the attitude of what, you live in London. Let's talk about that. Right. 
the marriage rates are going down in the West. Yeah, it's going down yeah. in London. Uh -huh. It's going down in, in, in New York City in America. Mm -hmm. Why is it going down? And and if these guys are saying like, hey, I'm a hardworking guy, especially in the black community, like you get penalized for just reading and writing right as a man. <laughs> You can think, yeah, you can, exactly. See, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. why guys will want to come to Africa and deal with somebody like you because you can appreciate somebody who will actually do something for you. Mm. Do you know, like, even at the bank, when I go, I won't mention the bank that, that we we're at. When I go there, I'm treated way better, like, oh, hey, hello, how are you doing? Or, I mean, I mean, obviously, we have money that's going there, right? Yeah. But, you know, you don't get treated like that in America when you can do something as a man. Here, in, you have to be a certain height in certain cases. Mm look a certain way, have a certain lot of swag and charisma. But I never hear you go in and tell somebody, I don't want to date him because he's too short. Like, you don't hear that in Africa. Yeah, I was going to say you got to have the height, certain the way you dress, the way you act, and you got to have abs. And the crazy part, I want everybody to know, this is how bad everything's getting. I have all four of those things. The thing is, you can get a lady with all four of those things, but they won't be traditional. The other guys, they can't get them. Like people what I don't like to brag, but as they people like me, I can get them, but they won't it, like them being traditional is the problem. It's like either it's like you're trying to get an oh like one guy is trying to get the asshole, the other one got the asshole, but he's like, I don't want you to be an asshole. The first guy don't even want you to be an asshole, but he at least just trying to get you. That's the problem. So I, everybody need to understand that. Should kings have a chance? Yeah, my, my, <laughs> the, the, the guys in Africa, the guy, if you see a woman in Africa, uh, you have a chance to be to be married. In America, those women don't, I mean, I'm not saying all, mm -hmm. but the attitudes and entitlement are crazy. And a lot of those girls come from single parent homes, don't know how to respect the man. You're tired of fighting back and forth with that stuff. But you know what, right? Mm -hmm. I hear, I hear all of that, and that isn't that is an issue that I've I've heard of and actually come across. But mm -hmm. I think it just it works both ways because some of these guys like they they're preaching all this. Oh, I, I I need a woman to be more submissive. I mm -hmm. need femininity. I need I need I need something I can work with. But they they're acting the fool. Acting the fool in what way? Mm. Multiple partners, like thank you. Um, gaslighting, like all, all of these. No, that's not true. Men and women cheat at the exact same rate, but the thing is you understand most guys don't even get the chance to. So it's literally, they're talking about a small group of men who are actually doing that. It's a small group of men who is doing what you're saying. Most men, most men are going to be virgins until they're like, shit, what do they say, 30? So that's not, that don't want to try to start beef, but like, yeah, that's not true things right yeah rude. and then and then once they've burnt all their <laughs> rude <laughs> right right and once they've burnt all their bridges right then they cut out yeah. okay because because their, their, their name their name their name is um their name is pretty yeah. much you know i mean dirt. like yeah. it's been ruined so that's the thing that's not true because the guys that they get with have multiple baby mothers if they have multiple baby mothers, their names their names in dirt but the thing is the lady the other lady still choose them they have a line of women. Like once again, no mean to brag. I can legit do things that I'm not supposed to do with a lady, like sleep with her, do all types of things, you know, nasty, nasty, sweat, but naked, nasty things. But then the other girl that knows her is still going to try to talk to me. So that's the problem with all this. They just, they legit just keep switching from guy to guy. And the thing is with me, I want a woman to be traditional. Cause I, that's how I was raised. So it was like, I don't want to do this, this shit that, that niggas, that, that Pookie Ray Ray niggas, they be doing. I don't want to do that. I want you to be this and like, I don't want to be traditional. Well, move the fuck on. That's, that's where that ends for me. Uh, that's how I see it as maybe okay. I'm being a bit too black and white about it right but I just feel like their intentions are not are not are not are not there yeah. mm -hmm. like because I'm not gonna lie like when you experience something different you like it right right I, I, every time I've gone on holiday 
people are always intrigued, right? Mm -hmm. Because you look at me and you just either think I'm African or I'm Caribbean. Right. And I open my mouth and then this London accent comes out. Right, right. Right? And so it's always intriguing to people because you don't meet from other places, don't meet people like me. Right. All the time. Right. So like if you go on holiday, you are, or you're going somewhere for duration of time, you are going to get attention because you're different from what's there. Mm -hmm. So I don't feel like you've got to make that your sole purpose when you go somewhere because you mm -hmm. are going to meet people and people are going to be intrigued by your story. So yeah. let me ask you this. Yeah. Do you think like the these guys that come into, let's say... They're weak. <laughs> they're weak. <laughs> I see they, you too. They don't want a person... Like, if, if there's a woman I like... Yeah. And she... and Because I'm a DJ, mm -hmm. as you all know. Yeah. So... I'm the worst case scenario. If I step to, when I stepped to a woman, right, when I was single, mm -hmm. they didn't want to know nothing. They're like, oh, you're a DJ, no way. In London, not so much in Kampala, but in London, mm -hmm. they're like, you're a DJ, ah, crucifixes up everything. Didn't mm -hmm. want to know. Ah, when you leave this gig, you're going to go to this girl. And then, mm -hmm. and uh, I, if I wanted to prove myself mm -hmm. and I wanted to show her I was genuine, I put the work in. Mm -hmm. I didn't just be like, oh, all right, and then jump on a plane and, Try to work something out somewhere so, else. So, so let me ask you this then. Cause I, I was going to say, before you say what you say, O'Shea, brother, I'm going, I was going to say, all right, one thing being weak. Ah, that's, that's I had to say of like a nigga, um, like you say that he talked to one person, like he talked to somebody in like middle school and he say, I'm leaving. They won't do anything. Yeah. I understand that really don't even, I really don't even understand that because it's your choice. You can do what you want. What I'm trying to uh, trying to let you understand is that the guys are legit go running into people who aren't even like they're not even like top level women and they're, they're doing things like this. You can I would not be surprised if Precious told me that she she needs a guy to make this amount and to look like this. Look like this. Underline that what I just said. She say you need a guy to look like this. Not surprised. That's the problem with America. I don't know about London and stuff like that. All I know is about America right now. So remember that. I'm gonna get back to putting the work in, but mm. let me just ask you this. Do you think that the women let's talk about Africa? Because you know you yeah. have And that's nothing. I no, you don't need you no man should have to put in the work. You like that thing don't put in, in the work. If I put in the work on myself. That should be enough. Like, what do you mean? Like, I'm not going to chase you around. This ain't Cinderella. Like, I'm not, uh, there's no Cinderella story. I'm not doing that. Let's keep it going now. Shout out to the Pan-African dating show. Uh, Shout out to we, 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 you know, we, we, we doing our thing. Yes. Let's say if brothers was, sisters, brothers was coming to, uh -huh. you know, year return, Ghana, mm. brothers coming to Uganda, Kenya. Kenya has a lot, a lot of nice looking women. Yeah. Do you think that those women notice that these guys are weak and they will start using them for money? That's the only reason why they like them? When they when they come into these passport roles, I I think so. One mm. thing you know, people like to say African mm. women are submissive, but I feel like you should fear a, sub, a very submissive woman. Oh my God! They just keep on trying this to promote their stuff on my thing. State of the art. I don't Something care about you, sir. A very not a submissive mm. woman, a very submissive woman, because she will do everything that you want mm. with an end goal. You know, you miss all oh, African women, da, 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 da. then they get to know that, oh, you want a woman who's like this, like this. You're looking for a woman who is this type. And then she'll be the exact woman you're looking for. Mm -hmm. The whole time she's just running something. Running game. Mm. Yeah. Well, that you have to kind of be aware of mm -hmm. as a person, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, you know that. I hope you're not. I hope you're not. Because all I just heard is that I don't think African women are traditional now. I don't like when everybody just keep on painting everybody with just a, a like a big ass brush. Like without without statistics, if you're not gonna throw any of those out, I don't like it when people do that. Make me feel weird. That um you're looked at as a for want of a better phrase, like a meal ticket. Mm -hmm. So you have to be careful about how you're putting yourself out there. Mm -hmm. If you're if you're out there and you're like, Oh, come meet me here, I'll pay for this, here, come here when you get mm -hmm. here, don't worry about that, then you're presenting yourself. In that way, you're presenting yourself to be like taken advantage of. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you if you carry yourself as like, with, with like like a decent human being in some respect, then you should get it back. If you don't, then that should be a red flag to be like, I'm moving on. Yeah. I'm, or I'm not holding this conversation anymore. 
let me say this. <laughs> <laughs> Women everywhere, no yeah. matter who you are, yes, are gonna ask you for money. Yeah. And gonna use you. Facts. Even whoa, whoa, whoa. worse. <laughs> then, can you refresh? Can you say that again? Yeah, everywhere. He's right. It happens in London? What? Like it, money. Every every woman. There's no woman that will like you they're gonna expect you to do something for them everywhere. That's how it works. And you should as a woman. You I'm not should. saying that you shouldn't, but but what I'm saying is this. Because when I'm hearing that these guys are weak, okay. Because mm. when people say, well, they're weak, they don't have options. But now we're going to be honest. If we're talking about the black community and black women, we have a lot of women that are coming from single-parent ho- homes, hostile attitude towards men in general. And a lot of men don't feel like, like you said, for example, mm. I'm going to put in the work. Can we be honest here? Yeah. A, a lot of ladies mm. are not worth putting in any work for, okay, in general. True. And they, and they feel that that's the case. Right. So let, let me let me let me say that. Mm-hmm. So as a man, you know, you have and again, 80 percent of the women want 20 percent of the men. That's typically how it is. Mm-hmm. I, I, I can live like I live in Kampala and be OK. But if I'm in Atlanta, I got to do a little bit more stunting if I want to be seen. I can't have a van that we have. But, but that's or the, 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 the boulder the that we but have. That's the problem, though, right? Mm-hmm. Because that's that's your first thought. Like, if I'm not stunting, I'm not getting any chicks. Right? Mm-hmm. So uh-huh. if you're going to stunt, then they're going to perform tricks. Mm-hmm. So if you don't stunt and you just like, you, you're a bit more genuine with about what you're about, then maybe you'll get a different sort of No, no, it, it's true. Let me yeah. rephrase that. Mm-hmm. But I mean, you're going to feel more or less pressure by the society. Like, I yeah, need yeah, to be okay. like this too. Right. You're not necessarily- yeah. He's asking for you to search for a needle in a haystack. That's what I'm hearing now. And that's the reason why passport bros exist. You don't have the, like the amount of time you want me to find my wife when I'm 45. That's what you're asking me. That's a needle in haystack. Do you not, you don't do that because when you do that, you find a lady who's legit desperate for a husband. And when she gets her husband who ends up being you, she changed back to who she was. You you literally finding like fucking a like booze like off of Mario like off of Mario Super Mario boot like close their eyes. Like, oh, I'll marry you. Yeah, that's that's what you're finding. You don't do what he just said. That's the reason why they're leaving. They're leaving because you're asking me to wait for this long period or roll the dice that I did not run to a boot. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But but in, but in general, a lot of black men in America and in London, you see these guys marry. Okay, let's just leave passport bros out. Mm. Just in London, mm-hmm. a lot of black men don't even deal, especially in America. These are women that these black women did not want, and they go and marry somebody in Asian community, Hispanic community, right there. They become very successful, and then who are the number one people hating on them? The same black women. Mm-hmm. You're weak. Oh, you can't mm. handle strong black woman. Mm. And, and how many times are you going to sit there and be just ultimately going through like some, like if a guy is doing very, very well, you're not going to keep telling you like, yo, I feel like, you know, you know, you're not being respectful. Mm. And cause what happens now, especially in, in the Western world in Europe, I was in Luxembourg. Mm. You think many black guys are going to keep telling somebody I'm going to stick with the black woman. Look at all those opportunities you got there in France. Look at those opportunities you have. So even if it's not that, the guys that are even in London who are dating with a white woman or in America dealing with an Asian woman, they're getting talked about just as bad, just as many years. And we're not going to the fundamental problem that these women don't have any respect for any man. And that's the reason why passport bros exist in the first place. Mm. And we can't get around that because look at the numbers. Marriage rates are dropping in all ethnicity in the Western world. All, okay? When you come to Kampala, you know, a woman may not be, you know, the same thing as the West. Mm. But she ain't going to be talking back to you, talking crazy to you. Yeah. She ain't going to make you feel like you ain't shit. And for most guys, that's good enough, you know? Mm. And that's what guys are looking for. You're looking for a chance to be a man. Yeah. In Africa, one thing I like about being in Uganda, you are you're actually can be a man here. You're a man. A lot of guys are getting mistreated, mentally abused by the women they're dealing with. Right there in America, right there in, Lit- uh, in Ireland. Mm. Yeah, but... 
Just, no, I can't judge sorry. you. Can't. <laughs> no, I was just going to say, I, when you mentioned that we have some people on the show who actually got uh, married or got together now, that has changed my perspective because mm. we did have a few couples who managed to become something off the show. Yeah. And that made me see it in a different light because there's some passport bros who are coming to the continent or who are traveling wherever mm. they're going, mm -hmm. looking for a wife. So they're treating that, that they're acting like a husband to be. Not these exactly. passport bros yeah. who mm -hmm. are out there. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You know, you yeah. can't say you're looking yeah. for a wife and you're looking for a woman who's more submissive and whatnot, but you're not you're not moving like you want a woman who's more submissive. Mm -hmm. You're moving mm -hmm. like you mm -hmm. want you want to be polygamous. You want a bunch of them. You want to sit down and be like a ha oh no, let me not yeah. go there. <laughs> oh, you, say, you say a harem? No, a haji. What is a haji? A Muslim man, because he can have many wives. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. But yeah, no, you're right. You are exactly right. And um the two points I want to make was uh touching on the um the marriage rates, right? Mm -hmm. I think that is that is um, a societal issue. Mm -hmm. Like the way marriage is portrayed, like um, in the media and in in, in films, whatever, right? Mm -hmm. It's all very picturesque. Yeah. And they don't argue, yeah. right? And and it's all it's all it's all rainbows yeah. and butterflies. Mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. So when people nowadays have a argument, mm -hmm. which is totally natural, oh yeah, they think oh something's wrong. Right. This is not like how it is on in these movies and these TVs mm -hmm. and on, mm -hmm. on, on TikTok or whatever. Mm -hmm. And they think something's wrong. So they, they start losing interest and start moving on to the next thing mm -hmm. rather than being more like in tune with the fact that you're, you're two, you're together, but you're two mm -hmm. individuals. Mm -hmm. So you're going to have differences of opinion. Mm -hmm. And when you do have those differences of opinion, mm -hmm. don't break up, mm -hmm. talk it through. Right. And I think that's mainly like an issue. Right. Yeah. Um, and what you're talking about is the issue with women. That's what they do. Men don't usually break up with the women that they're with. That's what you just mentioned. I, I'm on your side. Not really, but I'm still, I'm over there. I'm in that, that general area. Yeah. The women break up guys don't 70%, 70% of the time is them. So. The men don't break up, not even nearly as much as women do. Let's mm, turn, yeah, <laughs> let's turn yeah, yeah. the page to the girls. Oh. You know, let's not say all oh, the, oh, the men are bad and whatnot, but like yeah. the girls also, the girls are, are accommodating of this passport bros, you know? The girls are open to also hanging mm. around. Let's, let's call it what it is. Because I have a few friends of mine who have come into the country that are from the UK and every time yeah. they go out, yeah. these girls are running after them. It's like... They've never been pursued like that in their life. But you know, it's yeah. not... But it's like just, something I said earlier. No, but they but just want different. to sleep with them because it's like a foreign man, so she wants to sleep with him. That's all. Like yeah, her yeah. intention is to sleep with him. So right. I slept with this guy right. who's from London. Mm -hmm. Or I slept with this guy who's from the States. Uh, being that we are foreigners here, mm -hmm. we don't want to really get into that. But I'll tell you this. When you're in a... Um, let's say if you're a guy, you said that you do very well and you live here and you bring in resources... Like somebody I know. <laughs> but but, but, but let's, let's say you do that. When you're in in the continent, mm -hmm. like, do you know how available that a person like that? I have somebody I know that's like that. I won't call this person's name. But women make themselves, like in America, they can do it too. But he this is just random. Well, shit, y'all might sound great. Y'all should just go ahead and send me one. Yeah, I know. I sound like a broke nigga. I don't give a fuck. She, even we got everybody wants something. Everybody here, it's it's crazy, and they don't care if you have a wife. Some people don't care. A lot of people don't care. But the thing about it is, you got to understand that if anything happens, you're going to be the one to be blamed as the foreigner, and that happens a lot. You have, um, you know, men that want to live in Africa, and I would I always tell my friends like, if you better probably bring your wife if you come, because you're gonna be in a lot of trouble. Because the women that are out here, they're young, they're pretty, they're soft-spoken. I'm just going to be honest. Africa is very, like, Uganda is a very sexual place. Just I, from what I feel. Mm. It's, it's just that energy is there. When you go out and you see, you're like, and it's always hot. So people are always, you know, like I said, the girls out there are dressed Dre like that. Dressed appropriately. Yeah. And like, weather, and it's, um, yeah. <laughs> and uh, so it's a lot, it's challenging for a lot of black men that come into this area. Because I, when I came to Uganda, I didn't know what people looked like. I just 
thought like, oh, okay, there's a good place to go. Let's check yeah, it out. Yeah, then yeah. I got here and I was like, oh shit, like <laughs> heaven. <laughs> yeah, and I was like, and, and I've been here like 19 times ever since then. Right. Cause you have a, like most men have an opportunity to talk to a woman here, and most you guys and women are not flaky like I heard like in Colombia or Dominican Republic they'll come to the date. Yeah, you know that I've experienced here. Yeah, Uganda yeah. women are not flaky. Yeah, at all. Like you, like in London, I've been having conversations with like um, chicks from London and whatnot, mm-hmm. and they just just seem so disinterested. They don't want to like right. engage in conversation, two way conversation. Right, like a lot of their answers are like. One word answer, two word answers. Yes. Aww. So you can't elaborate on that. Yes. But um, like, yeah, I usually stop talking to them. I leave them motherfuckers on red. You give me a one. I give I give two times. You get two times. Give me a one word or two word answer. I bet I'm done talking to you. It's just me. Like, in my personal experience, like when I've met Ugandan women, you have the most like. Dope conversations. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And you're like, have I just had this conversation in a bar? <laughs> like, what, this woman has like literally like yeah. f- fixed my like, you know what I mean? Right. My, my perspective on certain things, right. you know? Thank y'all for saying that. I'm going to Uganda first. Uganda, then Kenya. I, ho- I, I, I don't want them to try to do sexual things. I, I, I just want to just want to talk. Just want to talk. I had to think about it. Yeah, I just want to talk. Like proper deep. And um, that's the main difference I found here. I don't want to generalize, but for me, mm. that's the main difference between, I think, courting and dating mm. or just having a simple conversation mm-hmm. between London and Kampala. That's the main difference. Yeah. yeah. And, and let me just say this also too, right? Because we don't talk about generalizing. You know, Ugandans can't go to do. Are they still banned from Dubai? Well, yeah, it's like stricter to get in. It's a bit more strict. So, so, so now with that being said, you know where I'm going, right? I don't. So I'm, I'm looking forward to this. Yeah. The Ugandans <laughs> have a... Ha, at one point, they were banned from going yeah. to Dubai. Yeah, they were. I was on a Ugandan Airlines flight with to Dubai with all those Ugandans. It was, it, was, it was like, I would pay just to do that again. Not to even go, just to come back. It was that lit. Yeah. The flight? Oh, it was crazy. Shout out to Ugandan Airlines. That was a nice flight. It was like Soul Plane. Oh, my Finding God. Finding the right partner is White not people. easy. Hmm? Our relationship is so one Pause. Is every commercial got a white person? Sweet Jesus, where's the black people? <laughs> With Snoop Dogg, that's how it was. Yeah. So my question is, like, should all Ugandans go to Dubai? Should they be generalized? No. They shouldn't. But they are. Are they not? They are, yes. Okay. So I would say with the passport, bro, things, you have a few guys out there who are making some mistakes, mm. and that goes out there. Mm. Yeah. yeah, it yeah. goes out there. But are these guys, you know, usually, you know, the and let's talk about the, the sex thing. People are adults, oh, and yeah. and you know like people people can accuse anybody of sex trafficking. People can say that about I can make up a story about you and say you sex trafficking. Don't make it true. You know what I mean? Like anybody can lie on the internet, right? Yeah. Uh-huh. But there are some idiots out there that have had some problems in that community that made some mistakes or whatever. Yeah. But in general, what I feel that most men are, you know what I mean? Especially the ones that come to Africa, the black men that come from Africa want to be in Africa. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And they want to... Now, you have your brothers that are into the, you know, like, 5% nation, Hebrew Israelites. You know, they believe in polygamy. That happens. Yeah. But um, not all of those guys are bad. Living in the States, dealing with American women, I prefer dealing with somebody in my community. But for the other guys, I can see where the trouble is. I have so many of my professional friends that don't even deal with black women. I have professional friends that are no longer married to African-American women, they will only date women from the diaspora only, Caribbean or Ghanaian or Ugandan. They want This man is preaching, go, go, O'Shea. Go, O'Shea. Don DeMarco. Even deal with our people. And there's a reason for that. Yeah. We did a whole show with Dr. T.S. Johnson on the same channel. So the reality is, is that these women out there have to give these guys an incentive to deal with them. And they don't. You know what I mean? That's yeah. the thing. Like, nobody's going to deal with you just because, you know, no, I, I think it's more... Better to say, okay, I'm not dealing with you, not talk about it. But guys are openly having the discussion yeah. because women have been having discussion about, I don't want no scrubs. They've been having songs about how broke you are. You mm. black men are undercover. You're gay. Yeah, and then you find out that uh, I don't want no scrub. Them motherfuckers were the broke ones. That was the crazy part. Oh. But it, that's been happening for years in America. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you had TLC with scrubs and, yeah. and whatnot. Now, what are you talking about? Broke black men. I don't yeah. want no, no, no dusty black men. But it's, it's, just, it's just your intentions, isn't it? Yeah, and um, big screen that I ain't gonna lie you dudes are great 
a great show. I'm going to finish it, but I didn't want to, you know, do the whole thing. I was just going to let y'all go ahead and finish the rest of it. Probably got like, like, got like 12 more minutes, 12 more minutes. Go ahead and support O'Shea. Yeah, that nigga is doing a great job. I mean, brother, nigga, brother, whichever one you want to use. I'm down for whoever one, my brother. This is a great show. Like how he support Passport Bros, except for the ones that do be doing that sex shit. Like, there's only a small number of them. I don't see that many ever. I, I, I've only heard of tiny stories, like one or two. Go ahead, like and subscribe. Yo, O'Shea's on um, channel and yo on his channel, Ken Gandian, I think that's it's called. Yeah, Ken Gandian. That's all I gotta say about this. Oh, 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 you know what that was? Oh, that doo-doo, baby.